All right, guys. What up? Part two. If you haven't seen the first one, go check that out before you watch this. So where we left off, and I'm sorry it left off like that, is right here. But I went ahead and put on the arms right here on the, the new Triple H shoulders. Um, and already it looks better even without the back. And when I, before, I, uh, before I closed it, or well, before I'm about to close it, I put a little bit of clear nail polish in here just so it can lock up and it won't be loose whenever I do close it. So that's one little tip you can uh, take to the bank and I promise you it works uh, most of the time. Well some of the time it, it just depends on the figure. It won't be as loose and it won't be as bad when you torso crack but every figure is different just like the Fandango came incredibly loose. The first ever Elite and only Elite he ever had. So I put clear nail polish in there, put the head back on the the neck joint or the neck pin whatever it is so uh, now pop this guy back on and we have a better looking rhino it's better than uh, these bowling balls that came attached to his body and they fit perfectly, I mean, well, pretty damn good. They're a lot better than these. I don't know why they didn't go with them. And those are Triple H shoulders, by the way. If anybody wants to do the same thing, they can. It looks good, and it's more realistic, and I don't want to throw this figure up against the wall anymore. So uh, there's your fix-up. Now, as for a, uh, and I hate saying this, it just sounds weird, and anyway. As for a, uh, a crotch crack... <laughs> Which is what I'm about to do since I didn't take off the uh, bottom part of the torso on uh, Ryback or uh, Shit Ryback really on Rhino. I'm gonna take it off of this. This is a Mick Foley or a Mankind and uh, I'm gonna take try to take this ball joint out of this crotch So what I need to do is pop that back in the water. Let it sit for a minute Well, More than a minute. I'd give it two or three just depending and um Whenever it's soft, and I'll give it two minutes, I'll come back to you guys and show you. Alright, so I ended up having to put a little more water in there, so it took longer than expected. But usually if, if you have enough water in there, it only takes two to three minutes, just depending. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take him out, and it's on low right now, and uh, that's, a smart, that's a smart thing to do. Um, if you're taking something out, you need to have it on low just so it doesn't steam up and yeah just so you're not wasting water so uh we're gonna try to crack this guy open and so what we're gonna do is the same thing we did in the first video we're gonna go down the seams and this shouldn't be hard if it'll focus all right we're gonna go in through here but be careful you need your protection and you need your gloves oh shit that's easy as all hell Alright, so, boom, now we're going to go right, on the side, now on this side, it will focus, oh guys, there we go, alright, the glue is all gone right here, I don't know what's right here, hold on. You start right here though. Start at the bottom. Don't start in the middle because you're going to screw up your pin and then you won't be able to put the top of it back on. So. Okay. Well, shit. That just pop off. Hold on. Alright, so let me see if this will work. You're going to put your, uh, your flat head right in here. And then pop it. Did it work? Hell yeah. And it works. I'm going to take my gloves off. Hold on. Okay, so this is what you should have when you do that. Okay? And this is the bottom part of a torso. And that's how you crack that shit. God, that was easier than expected. Probably because it's an older figure and the glue isn't as strong anymore. I don't know. But, uh, okay. So, second part of this video is this. Try to crack this thing open. 
pop it back in the hot water, let it sit for another two minutes, two to three minutes, and I'll come back to you in just a second. Okay, so it's still in there, but real quick, I wanted to ask you guys, so just leave that your answer in the comment section. Um, if you guys want me to post a video on how to seal a cracked torso correctly so it isn't loose, leave a comment and I'll do the same thing for a, a different video, another figure it out video. But, uh, alright, so this is boiling. And, uh, be right back when it's done. Okay, so let's take this guy out. Should be done. Can't see because of the steam. And, fish this up, bastard out. Okay, got it. Turn on low. Alright, so there it is. Now, I'm going to crack this thing. We're going to try. Okay, so, see that right there in the middle? Same thing we did with the bottom part of the, uh, the torso. But we're going to go in through the top right here. And then right here, and here, and yeah, so all the seams. So let's do that. Oh, shit. There we go. like that sound. Get the bottom. Be careful, wear gloves because you will cut your damn hand off or burn it one. And you don't want either one of those because you will go to the hospital. Yeah, so. And there's that. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Thanks, mankind. By the way, this is the old one. This isn't the, the newer one. Let me just go ahead and pop that guy open too. Oh, shit. Maybe. Here, we'll go under the top. We'll go in through the top again. Probably a safe bet. So let's do that. What you want to do, if it's already loosened up on the sides and the seams and everything, just twist it real good. But be careful, you don't want to snap the peg on the inside. And boom. Take the gloves off. That's what it looks like in the middle. Like that. You can take this peg out. And put a different one in. And, uh, yeah, put it back together. And... Voila. Boom. Thank you guys for all the support, all the love. We greatly appreciate it. I'm going to have a mystery custom review either tonight or tomorrow, just depending on uh, the time I have. So uh, be waiting for that. And uh, I know you guys are going to like it and you guys are going to shit your pants when you see it because uh, I'm, I'm the one making it and I'm, I'm pretty damn excited about it. And I'm trying to stop myself from crapping my pants. So... Uh, anyway, <laughs> enough about shitting each other's pants. <laughs> Thank you guys for all your support, all your love, everything. Uh, 830 subscribers as of five minutes ago without social media. I don't do Facebook. I don't do Twitter. I don't do Instagram. I do this, raise kids, and be an awesome husband. So thank you guys. We love you guys. You're the only people I like. Everybody else, not my friend. I am not friendly. <laughs> Okay, thank you guys. We'll talk to you later. Peace.